Hey there, it's Ian Koniak, and I had a client last week during a coaching session tell me, I think it was a Thursday, and they said, you know what, Ian, I was on fire on Monday and Tuesday. I had such a productive day, but on Wednesday, I just didn't have the motivation. And on Thursday, it was the same thing. And this is something I've heard from a lot of coaching clients. It's something I've experienced myself, and that is simple. We cannot be motivated all of the time. So today, I wanna to talk about how we can not have to rely so much on motivation as a way to really be effective, but rather just understand what motivation is and how to use it and what to do when we're not feeling motivated so that we can still get the most out of the day. So I'm gonna start by telling you the most important thing is to know why you're doing what you're doing. That's probably one of the most important parts of motivation. If you feel like what you're doing today is getting you where you want to go. In other words, you know what you're fighting for, you have a strong why, you're naturally going to feel a lot more motivated. So assuming you're in the right career and you're in sales and you know you want to be there, um, that's step one. If you're in a career you don't feel like is good for you or you're kind of in that midlife crisis, your motivation is going to be really low. So you have to make sure you're motivated for what you're actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis as a foundation. Now, once we get there, we're still gonna have days where we're on fire and days where we're just not feeling that good. And so, I think the important thing is, if you're a high achiever like me, a lot of times we're beating ourselves up in those days where we're not feeling motivated or we're not getting a lot done. And the important thing, what I've learned, is you just have to accept that you can't be at 100% all of the time. That's just not realistic or else, you know, we'd be superhuman, okay? When we go hard for a few days, usually we need to recharge and relax a little bit more and let off the gas. We can't have our gas 100% all the time. So just accepting it and knowing it is part of um, really important because if you're beating yourself up, then you're not gonna, it's not gonna help you if you just beat yourself up because you think you have to be 100% all the time. So step one is just accepting it for what it is. And once you know what it is, what I like to say is Phil Mickelson just won the oldest PGA uh, player to ever win on, on tour at 50 years old. So I'll use a golf analogy. In golf we say mulligan. Mulligan, mean, mulligan is, for those of you who don't play golf, is when you get one bad swing in the beginning of the round or maybe you can use it any time of the round. Maybe you hit it in the water or you just have a bad swing. A mulligan is like a do-over, okay? so. Think of your bad day where you have low motivation as a mulligan and just remind yourself that you get one mulligan, okay? You don't wanna have two mulligans in a row. It doesn't work. So if you have a bad day, just leave it as one bad day, okay? And the next day, pick it up, right? Don't let the bad day turn into two bad days, turn into a bad week, turn into a bad month. That's called a slump. So the key is if you miss a workout, make sure you make it up the next day. If you miss prospecting, make it up the next day, okay? Don't get stuck because it was in a negative place and you know turning into a slump, that's the key. Um, the next thing is uh, really when you're having one of those days, what I try and do is just get a little bit done, just a little bit. So at the end of the day, you can say, you know what, I got a couple things done that I really wanted to. So last night, um, I had a ton of cleaning to do. My wife you know, was on a girl's trip and um, I had both both kids and I didn't want to um, have her come home to a tornado which is what they created and I had people over in the backyard so the backyard was messy the playroom was messy the house had dishes there were toys everywhere and it was like overwhelming so I just laid down on the bed and wanted to turn the TV on but instead I said let me just start by taking out the trash so I took out the trash and I saw the backyard and instead of coming in I started doing the backyard then all of a sudden I had went into the living room and started cleaning the living room. And all of a sudden I did probably 75% of the cleaning even though I wasn't feeling motivated, mainly because I got started, okay? And those days that you're not feeling motivated, the best thing you can do is just take that first step, okay? Get something done. Something is better than nothing and then let habit and momentum take over, okay? The worst thing is when you're having one of those unmotivated days and you do nothing. Just do a little bit and you'd be surprised. Sometimes a little bit can turn into a lot. So I hope these tips help you. I'm Ian Koniak. Thanks for li listening and hope all of you are fired up to have a great week this week. Take care.